Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing ANY, PXLW, RGBP, and RGBPP, ENZC, and HMBL. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and a little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks they're going to be covering. Stocks like LWLG at $2.55, ENZC at .014, MJWL at .014, and ALPP at 7.5 cents. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. Never begin the format with 00. zero. It will not work. For US and Canada, simply enter 1 plus area code and number. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts. Many times if something hot comes across our desk and we want to get it out right away, we will send a text only alert. So it's important to be signed up with both email and text. With that out of the way, let's dive in here. First up is ANY. Um, you know, all these stocks, uh, just want to say, what have been covered on the site. Uh, you can just go in this in this little magnifying glass, temp, simply type in the, the symbol, and you can see ANY. We've been talking about this one. Uh, made new highs uh, uh on Monday. Uh, congrats uh, if you caught uh, our uh, alert on ANY. Nice move there. And what's happening there is 19% of the float is short. Uh, this is just a $124 million market cap. Uh, we think that this one is about to break out. New highs uh, are coming. So definitely looks good. ANY, uh, this is a blockchain play and also a SPAC play. They're just getting ready to do a... Um, minority based uh, uh they just did an ipo on a minority based uh, spac uh certainly uh, gonna have a lot of uh, excitement around this one uh perfect chart setup uh really think uh, we're gonna see uh, uh an explosion higher especially we get above the 52 week high of 768 uh, moving on, uh, PXLW, this is another one that we've talked about. Uh, this one here, new highs yesterday, just short of, of eight bucks. Uh, talked about this one uh, last week. Um, PXLW. Uh, we've been I've been talking about this one in the video a few times. Uh, one article. Um, uh, last week, PXLW, uh, this is just a $320 million market cap. Short interest is not as high as A&Y. Uh, I haven't gotten the new figures, but I think the, the shorts have been piling in the past two days, uh, especially when you get this red candle. They, they sense some weakness, thought the, the follow-through was going to happen, but the, the bulls uh, maintain control. So definitely uh, some shorts getting squeezed in uh, PXLW. Uh, moving on, RGBP and RGBPP. Uh, folks, I was ready to do a video on this one yesterday after the big sell-off, um, but I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to see a bounce. Uh, I like the price action that we got. Uh, RGBP bounced 27%. Uh, uh, the preferred bounced 12%. You know, there's nothing worse uh, than... You know, I, I'm not one to come out and say I told you so or or anything. We love RGBP. Where the part where um, 
you know you have to be very important is booking profits always take some money off the table um, and RGBP um, you guys you got to learn how to use RSI and uh, and candlesticks uh, you got this move on uh, the 26th um, got as high as six cents um, on the 27th um, is you sort of see a little bit of an exhaustion here um, on the 27th then on the 31st um, what would it show you happen no, on the 30th uh, we were down 40 percent um, you know on this day here you know the day before you know it was it was it closed um, you know up 10 percent but the RSI was was almost at a hundred um, it was at actually 89 um, when these RSI's you know get above 75 this is really when you have to take some money off the table and you know look this thing has been steadily climbing and you know it's just very common in the OTC you know we say you know take the escalator or the steps up and it's the elevator down um, and you know we got that crash this is very very common in the OTC um, you know last year's two big runners for our subscribers ENZC um, and and humble uh, you know ENZC you go over here uh, you know our subscribers are in at 0 0.014 uh, scroll down here and you can take a look um, ENZC and bioclonetics a perfect merger this came out on October 6th um, go over here and uh, you see on October 6th opened at 0.014 and then you got this incredible run but look there were crashes of 50% along the way first crash was in November uh, December crashed uh, for, you know hit um, got as high as uh, 12 almost 12 cents and then uh, you know crashed all the way down to under four cents uh, and then started climbing again climb crash climb crash I mean you, you look over here um, it got up to 25 cents uh, the next day uh, you know crash 50 percent all the way down to 13 cents uh, came all the way down uh, uh, got as low as 15 cents before starting the climb so you know guys you gotta learn to you know look at the candlestick look at the RSI's look at support look at resistance and please when you get these gains you know 50 percent 100 percent 200 percent always take money off the table the reason being you know, I'm not going to get into the fundamentals. If, if you know, I'm not, I'm not here to convince you to, you know, fall in love with RGBP or the preferred stock. That's on you. You know, we're going to present the uh, what's going on, the sentiment. Uh, the decision is entirely up to you. But if you really, really love, uh, you know, RG, the, the, the common and the preferred, if you trade around it, if you take money off, I'm not saying to get out of your full position, but you book some profits, the market corrects, you can then load up on the pullback, own more shares with using the same capital that you had, okay, reinvesting, you go end up with more shares and keep doing that rinsing repeat and you will end up at the end with a much, much larger position than simply buying and holding. Uh, you know you really have to learn to trade around your position um, the the OTC penny stock you know penny stocks in general but OTC in particular very very volatile so you know if you are in in this for the long term be prepared to see uh, your stocks at one point crash 70 80 90 percent some even go to zero. I mean, if 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 you get into a uh, scam or a, or a, or a horrible pump and dump, they exist. The, the you know the, the, this goes on in the OTC. We're in the wild west. Um, but you know the the key is 
always book profits. In the end, it's all about P&L. You know, putting, you know, selling stock, making money, putting money in your pocket, and putting food on the table for your family. You know, this is how you can build a fortune uh, just trading uh, penny stocks. You have to take money off the table. And I'm not talking about day trading in and out like that clown Tim Sykes. I'm talking about swing trades, buying dips, selling rips. You know, uh, I don't really, you know, get caught up in the in the intraday moves. Uh, I don't believe in day trading. I'm not a day trader. I don't like the the stress of, um, you know, the, the intraday moves because you can get psyched out. The market makers are playing games. But, you know, you throw in limit orders, you get that dip overnight and, you know, the stock rallies the next day. By all means, you're up 30, 40, 50 percent, 100 percent sometimes. Take money off, you know, book the profit. You know, that's the, that's what this is all about. In the end, it's all about, you know, building capital. Um, so, you know, I'm not here to do, uh, you know, and I told you so or lecture you or in, in any way. I'm here to help you as much as I can. Um, you know, if you got questions, please, you know, leave a, leave a comment uh, in the in the in the section on you know under the video. Uh, you can shoot us an email. Uh, I I you know I try my best if I can answer. I'm not a financial advisor, but you know if I can steer you in the right direction, I will will do my best. Um, but again, I'm not a financial advisor. So you know if you have serious questions, go talk to your financial advisor. Um, or retain one because, uh, you know, the, these are complex, uh, uh, you know, times and, you know, you're, you're definitely, uh, uh, you, you know, you're running your own trading business and you got to get um, as much knowledge as possible because in the end, it's, it's all about learning to earn. And the more you learn, the more you're going to earn and more money you're going to make. So, uh, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, you got to look at it that you're in this for the long term. You know, you want to be in this business 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years if you're starting young enough. And, you know, if you got that time horizon, you can make an absolute fortune. Um, so, you know, just here to help you guys as much as possible. Um, you know, remember, we're a free service. If anyone says we're, we're um, you know, if you get any DMs, you know, about joining a paid newsletter, we don't, that's a scam. We don't run a paid service. We are simply a free service. So that's why, you know, um, you know, go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. We are a free service and we're here to help you as much as, uh, as much as we can. Um, you know, and la you know, the other one here was humble. You know, I talked about ENZC. This one also had many, many crashes along the way. Um, you know, we were covering this one when it was first TSNP. Uh, go over here and check out what we had to say here when it was uh, TSNP. You know, we said TSNP humble uh, merger is a really big deal. And this was back on November 13th. You go over here. Where were we at? We were uh, we opened at 0.027. Now this is on the, after the split. Um, it was uh, um, split last year, but uh, definitely uh, has been a huge winner for our subscribers. But again, this one you had to trade. You know, this is what I'm talking about. And RGBP is is going to do the same thing. So you know, just be prepared for these types of crashes. And, uh, you know, don't, uh, no one's to blame, you know, these, this happens. So, you know, if you can spot this, learn to use the RSIs, learn to use support and resistance, you will become a very, very profitable trader and you will get to where you want to be. So with that being said, I want to wish everyone a wonderful and profitable trading day. Make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com. We have a NASDAQ alert coming at the bell. I'm seeing definitely uh, opportunities uh, in NASDAQ and OTC. So um, go and make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll be coming live to you tomorrow with a new video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.